we are here at Chinatown and we're about to hang out with Soji Stories. So we're excited to see what this place has to have, try some good food, so let's go. Welcome to Chicago's Chinatown. This neighborhood is located in the south side of Chicago, centered on Cermak and Wentworth Avenue. Here's an interesting fact, over a third of Chicago's Chinese populations resides here. And this makes it one of the largest concentrations of Chinese people in the United States. The present Chicago Chinatown was formed around 1912. Come and join our family as we walk through this neighborhood and we want to see the great architecture and of course, try out the amazing food here. Welcome back, Chronicles crew. We have Carl here. If you're not familiar with our channel, we're a family travel vlog. We love to go to local spots, tourist attractions, and weird and wacky places. All right, so we made it here to Chinatown. Good news is there is a parking lot right next to the L back here. I am not a very good parallel parker. Anytime I can get to a parking garage or a parking lot, right. that is what I prefer. I see them. Right What's up, guys? Hey, hey. How long was your drive? Well, it, it was about an hour. It was about an hour and a half. It wasn't yeah. too bad. It was almost as long to find a parking spot. <laughs> <laughs> so this is like traditional Chinatown. Yeah. Like when I went to field trips as a kid, this is where I would end up going. My favorite is those little waving cats. Yeah. First things first, time to find something to eat. Oh, we have a nice little picnic going on here. Absolutely. You can't really go to Chinatown without eating any of this amazing food that they have over here. If you walk around Chinatown, you better have yourself some sort of uh, boba tea or some smoothie with boba because that's what everybody else is doing. Tasty. It's a cool thing to do. Let us know what your channel is all about. We are Sorgi Stories. We are from Milwaukee. We are a channel that's about family adventures or about sports because this guy's one of the biggest sports fans on the planet, especially Wisconsin sports. It's all about the father and son experience, and that's that's what we're doing. With one of Melissa's favorites, Crab Rangoon. Don't taste much of the crab, but overall good. Not bad, right? Nice. No cheese curd, though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Chinatown was really fun and I really liked the food. It was so good. So I highly recommend you guys to come here and try the food, try the boba, and just explore around. Right here in Chinatown, you can see the skyline of Chicago. So one of the things that happened here was that during the pandemic, this is one of the first places that ended up getting really hit hard because people didn't want to visit. People thought about it more of as a, like an Asian virus. And so the effect on Chinatown is way longer than all the other businesses. And then when the pandemic finally hit, it really was, it really was a blow. So I can totally see some of the stores are closed down, but you know, we just want to make sure we support it. And that's the reason we're here, visiting with Sorgi Stories. So they have their boots and their pants right here, Rosalie. They jump right in, pull it up, and jump right on the truck. So they can be fast. Whoa, what is this place? I think it looks like a church or some sort of temple. It looks like it's a Saint Theater Catholic Chinese church here. So when you run the Chicago Marathon, this is one of the neighborhoods that you run through. And when you get to Chinatown, you know you're almost at the end. Well, I've run the Chicago Marathon three times. How many people can say they finished the Chicago Marathon? When you make it to Chinatown, they have like the, the dragon, the dragons and everything, and they have music going on. It's really fun. It's really cool. Well, here's a travel tip. When you come here to Chinatown, make sure you bring some cash. Not every place here takes credit cards. So something to get some of those yummy treats for a very affordable price, make sure you got cash. Let's look at this styling guy. <laughs> I lost my previous Marquette University mask, so when in Rome. Do what the Romans do. I love this flag design of your town. Our family hasn't started our international travels yet, so this is probably the best thing we can do to expose Rosalie and Addison to a world outside of the United States. And one thing we purposely do as parents is take our kids to places they're not as familiar with, so they have the spirit of exploration. So as when they get older, 
they are not limited just by their regular neighborhood. It is such a cool thing to be able to really have like a square mile or two that feels like it's a different country in either your hometown or a place that's close by. And there are so many larger American cities that can offer that. I mean, it just dives in. What do you like about it? The food. <laughs> that's the biggest thing. It's all right. We all like the food for oh, sure. My God. What is your Chinese zodiac sign? I am a dragon. The dragon being the most awesome and mythical of all Chinese zodiac signs symbolizes vitality and strength and pride. But we tend to be blustery and short tempered. I can neither confirm nor deny. So I am supposed to be a snake. I'm supposed to be graceful, I'm refined and very impressive in appearance. What do you guys think? <laughs> and something I've always known, Addison is a rat. <laughs> I've been blessed with great personal charm, imagination, and self-control. Uh, Quick-witted, adaptive, crafty with a survival instinct. I'm a rooster. The roosters are very outspoken and direct and are not shy by any means. That is definitely her. I am a little bunny rabbit while you... A bull. A bull. <laughs> the you Bucks fan is a bull. Ah. <laughs> so much fun. Yes. What a fantastic family. Carl, Melissa, Addie, and Rosalie the Ford you are. Keep making memories. You're gonna treasure this the rest of your life. Right here you can check out Soji's stories. Check out their channel and let them know Santa's Chronicles sent you.